Welcome back to a brand new video guys and we are about to check out of the Fairfield here and head down south to Putrajaya. So we're gonna check into the Marriott down there for two nights and I'm gonna do a kind of a different video. We're gonna do a complete hotel review and uh, just check that hotel out, it looks beautiful. So if you watched a couple of my other videos, you'll notice that I have done a few kind of hotel walkthroughs and uh, first impressions and stuff like that, but I haven't done a complete and full review. So we're gonna try something different today and this video is just gonna be a complete review of that Marriott hotel. And it's actually quite far from here, so it's about a 30 minute drive, about 20 miles down south, closer kind of to the airport area. But right now, let's go ahead and get checked out and head down to the Marriott Putrajaya. Alright guys, here we are at the Marriott Putrajaya. Gotta say, it's a massive hotel, much bigger than I thought it'd be. But uh, let's go get checked in. I am checking in. All right, guys, we are checked in, and um, staff is extremely nice, very helpful, um, and very quick check in process as well, which I really appreciate. And you will too if you're, you know, coming from the airport or somewhere like that. Alrighty guys, and here we are in the room, and I've got to say first impression, it's a beautiful room, it's big, and we get a balcony as well uh, that overlooks a really beautiful kind of green scenery, which I really appreciate. And let's run through a couple things that I look for in a hotel room. So for design and style, I think that this room uh, honestly looks really good. It's very spacious. And let's go ahead and check out the bathroom too. Very nice bathroom, we got a bathtub, a uh, beautiful kind of marble granite look, very luxurious, and a shower as well. Again, very spacious and big and not too claustrophobic. It doesn't feel like they're trying to kind of cram as many rooms in here as possible. So in terms of uh, the layout, I think it's really well done. You got the bed not too close to any walls or anything, plenty of space to walk through. Uh, you got this beautiful sofa bed that you can kind of lay on and lounge around and then while the balcony is not too big, it is still nice to have and especially with that beautiful green view out there. There's also plenty of desk space, uh, space for your luggage and stuff right here and then also tons of closet space in here as well, including a safe and a few more cupboards for you to put stuff in if you're here for a long stay. And then over here we got more closet space, some hangers, some uh, bathrobes, slippers, and the ironing board. And overall, it's a pretty big room for kind of their standard king 
bedroom so you get a lot of space to kind of move around and walk around. Definitely don't feel claustrophobic at all in here uh, like I did at some of the other hotels that honestly cost about the same as much as this. So it's really nice to see that they're not trying to just cram as many rooms into this hotel as possible. They're giving you a good amount of space for what you're paying for. All right, now let's do a quick cleanliness check of the room. I'm just gonna run my finger through a couple of uh, obscure spots and see if there's dust and stuff there. So up first, let's uh, Check for dust on top of the TV, and there isn't any. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and check on top of this mirror as well. And a uh, little bit of dust there, but nothing crazy. I mean, it's obviously been cleaned uh, recently. And moving on into the bathroom, the toilet is very clean. No stains or anything like that. The ground is also perfectly immaculate and uh, no stains in the mirrors. Now there are a few things I've noticed, uh, like up here, this kind of panel has obviously been gone through and it's got some stains on it right here. And then uh, stuff like this right here, doesn't seem like it can be cleaned. They're just uh, a little bit of staining. Well, that one comes off. I'm not sure what that is. It's a pretty tiny infraction, I guess. Uh, coming out here, the room is uh, immaculate. I mean, there's nothing on the floor or anything. It's obviously been cleaned well. This mirror right here has a little stain on it. There aren't any stains or anything on the sofa, stuff like that. Nothing uh, weird going on there. And then on the bed, totally clean. Nothing on here. Uh, no stains or anything uh, gross like that under here. Although there are a couple wrinkles on the bed, which, you know, you just look past. I know you're probably thinking, well, that's something really stupid to nitpick but it's just something you notice when you come into a hotel room. Uh, it's not too bad, nothing crazy. It's just something I notice. There's also a few stains on the wall, as you can see, running up here as well. And I think that has to do with the age of the hotel and they are in the process of renovating rooms. So I'm gonna let that one slide because uh, they are actively making the rooms better and newer. There is a note posted in the lobby saying that uh, there is construction going on from 6 or 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So. Uh, they are actively trying to make the rooms better, which I really appreciate. And then back onto the bed here, and as you can see, the pillows are super soft, very fluffy, no problems there. And the bed is also very comfy, not too soft, not too hard. And the bed is not too soft, not too hard. I think it's just the best compromise for uh, all parties who come and stay here. All right, let's move out of the balcony and check out the view really quick. Wow, that is a beautiful view. And look at that pool, that looks gorgeous. And it's huge too. It's uh, definitely more of a resort style pool. And this hotel is definitely uh, more of a resort than it is kind of a hotel that you would find in the business center or the center of Kuala Lumpur. It's just the kind of place you come and lounge around at, not go out and venture out into the city much. However, there is a giant mall uh, that's very close to here. And the shuttle service is actually free to go to that mall. So they leave every hour and then it's free to use, which is incredible. And that's basically like the only thing to do around here. I know there's a couple sightseeing opportunities as well. I think there's some kind of mosque around here that's uh, very popular to go and look at as well. But uh, it's really nice of them to offer that free shuttle from the hotel to the mall, which we will be taking. Probably later today, we might just go get some food from there. And again, I am very happy with this room. I think it's uh, done up really well. It's a very classic look, uh, not too outlandish, no crazy colors, very comforting. Uh, they've also got stuff like sanitizing wipes, which is very nice of them. And even though it is an older hotel, uh, they've got Lots of USB spots, power points on the left and the right side of the bed. There's also light switches for all the lights right on your bedside, which is very appreciated because I hate when uh, hotels put their light switches all over the room and you can't find, you know, which light turns off which, or which switch turns off which light. And you gotta kinda go on this wild goose chase. And let's go ahead and take a look at their in-room dining really quick. Cause that is another big part of a resort style hotel is the in-room dining. A eh, little messy on the, on the menu here. Kinda folded corners. It looks like a pretty big menu. And they got breakfast from six to 11 
and uh, all day dining from 11 a.m. to 6 a.m. So basically 24 seven for that. Okay, so they've got some great options here actually on the menu from uh, American breakfast to Malaysian breakfast, a healthy start breakfast, continental breakfast, and then they also have the buffet downstairs if uh, you want that instead. And for their all-day dining, they got tons of options from Malaysian to Western to vegetarian. So that's um, really cool. And then they got a bunch of kids stuff as well, a health menu and dessert. So we'll definitely have to try some of the in-room dining here just to see what their food's like. And you know, the longer I stay here and throughout the night, the more little things will start popping up and I'll be able to tell you guys about those little details as well that you only get uh, to experience when you're staying here and after you've stayed for a little while. Well guys, I'm gonna relax here for a couple hours and then we'll order some room service for dinner and see how good the food is. But yeah, I'll catch you guys for dinner in a couple hours. All right guys, just got done with a quick nap and I noticed a couple of things on the bed is that it's a little squeaky. And then also the mattress is a little harder than I thought it was at first when I touched it earlier. And so I'm not really complaining. I like a harder mattress, but it's definitely a lot harder than you're probably used to. And if you don't like a hard mattress, then you're probably not gonna like this. But to me, I like the hard mattress. I just wanted to let you guys know that it is definitely harder than your average uh, hotel room mattress. But right now I am uh, pretty hungry, so let's go ahead and grab some in-room dining here and see what that's like. Hi, I'd like to make an in-room dining order. Uh, yes, sir. What do you want to order? Uh, could I get the uh, the Penang Char Kui Tiao? Mm -hmm. And then also a uh, chocolate mousse. Yeah? And that's it. One Penang Char Kui Tiao only? I'm sorry? One Penang Char Kui Tiao only? And a chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse? Yes. Sure, sir. We will send the order in less than 45 minutes, yeah? Okay, you said how long? Less than 45 minutes. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Pleasure. Alright guys, in 45 minutes we'll see how the food is, but in the meantime let's go ahead and take a shower and see uh, what the bathroom is like and if it's pretty intuitive. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a sanitary bag, a shower cap, a hairband, which I've never seen before, but that's cool. A dental kit and then a shaving kit as well. Also got some uh, body lotion, and I'm not sure what this brand is, but uh, it looks to be a pretty pretty good brand. I'm not sure, let me know in the comments. And then uh, we also got some mouthwash, and a vanity kit. So very well equipped uh, bathroom here. And then in the bathroom itself, we got the same brand of shampoo uh, with shampoo, conditioner, and the shower gel. But it looks pretty intuitive. Um, you got hot and you're cold, and it's not confusing like some bathrooms are in hotels where they try to get fancy with how the uh, shower works, and you're, you're in there spending like five or ten minutes trying to figure out how to get hot water on. So appreciate the simplicity in there, and I think that's uh, down to it being such a old hotel that uh, they didn't really get fancy with it. It's just nice and intuitive and easy to figure out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shower, wait for the food to get here, and then also I need to get some laundry done. So we'll go through kind of the laundry list and their pricing for that as well. Uh, so I'll catch you in a couple minutes here. All right, you guys, let's look at this laundry list and see how much things cost on here. And at first glance, honestly, it's pretty expensive. So you've got uh, shorts at $8 per short. Um, T-shirts are $8 per t-shirt, trousers are 13 shirts are 13 so not that cheap. Uh, so I'll probably just do like a couple things, just enough for me to get through the next couple days. And then when I go back to Sri Lanka, we can do the rest of the laundry there. But I'm glad they do offer the laundry service because um, I was kind of worried that I was running out of clothes to wear, especially the airport. And now we're just waiting for the food. Hopefully that comes through really quick. Hello. Yeah, come inside. Yeah. Uh, on this table is fine. Yeah, that works. 
All right, guys, food's here. It smells great, and it got here a lot quicker than I expected it to be. Uh, it got here in less than 30 minutes, which is pretty good. And of course, the staff is really nice and uh, very helpful. He even asked me if I wanted him to, to kind of open it up and serve it for me. And I was like, you know, that's, that's cool, I got it. But very, very uh, good service. And that's kind of what you get when you stay at a uh, higher name brand hotel, stuff like Marriott. I've been saying a lot of Fairfields just because they're a lot cheaper, but that's the type of service that you don't get uh, in hotels like that. And here is the noodles. And I've got to say, it's a pretty big portion. I was not expecting four big tiger prawns like this. I was maybe expecting like two at most, and there's looks to be some squid as well. So very generous portions. There's also some egg on here, some, uh, it looks like fish sauce, some salad, and they also give you a water, which I really appreciate. And not many hotels actually do that, but it does smell great. And uh, let's go ahead and dig into this. All right, let's grab one of these uh, squid rings. Wow, that was actually a really good squid ring. Um, I was not expecting it to be so tender, but it, it was really nice and tender, not chewy at all. And there's some great smoky flavor coming from this dish as well. I really didn't have very much high hopes for in-room dining, just because a lot of places these days blame the lack of in-room dining on uh, COVID. And they're like, our in-room dining isn't in full operation because of COVID, but it's been, you know, what, like three years now, so it should be up to up to par again, I feel. And this one definitely is, because that noodles is super good. Wow, guys, I am not gonna lie. I am genuinely surprised with how good this is and also how much food you get. The noodles are cooked perfectly. There's also some like fish cake or tofu in there too. So it's not just noodles, there's a good contrast in textures. Yeah, so that's like some kind of fish cake. I'm not sure, but it's good. And this kind of dark soy-based sauce is really good. Very smoky, not too spicy, but you know, you still feel it. And it really is a great flavor. I was not expecting it to be this good. 40 ringgit is not cheap, especially for a Malaysian dish here. Uh, usually the local dishes on the menu would cost less than the uh, Western dishes, but here they were about the same price. Um, but this is really good and honestly, I'm not complaining. Uh, it's a very good meal for what it is. And also you're not in a place where there's a lot of kind of outside food. You have to actually walk to that mall that's uh, up the street to get to any restaurants. So there's not like street food or anything. And this is definitely a good alternative and a good dish to kind of taste Malaysian food if you haven't been to the city yet. Uh, it looks like there's also a little bit of chicken. So it's filled with all kinds of stuff in there. And then of course there's the shrimp as well. So let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, it's very good. That doesn't have much seasoning on it, but you can taste that it is uh, pretty fresh. And like I've been saying in a lot of my videos here in Asia, you just have to kind of get used to uh, prawns coming with the shell on, because that's just how it's done here. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I guess that's just the culture around here. But yeah, the prawn is fresh, not mushy at all, uh, nice and springy. I wish the dish was a little bit hotter. It's um, kind of on the warm to lukewarm side, uh, but you know, it's room service, so you can't really expect it to be piping hot when it comes up here. Also, um, the guy that came up here is kind of like the concierge service who's uh, on shift tonight. So he was like, if you need anything, I'll be here all night. Uh, just call zero and let me know. So that's really cool. And that's another thing you get staying at uh, a better name brand hotel uh, that you definitely don't get staying at kind of the smaller name brands like the Fairfield or Four Points, stuff like that. And now let's go ahead and try this dessert here. So I got... I actually got the chocolate mousse, but they called back and said that it wasn't available. So I went ahead with the uh, cheesecake. And uh, first glance, honestly, it looks, it looks like it's been sitting out a while. It probably wasn't. I mean, the fruits look kind of fresh. Let's get some of this berry in here. It's a good cheesecake. I mean, nothing special but it's, not, it's definitely not bad. I just wish they had that chocolate mousse because uh, that's one of my favorite desserts. But yeah, it's uh, nice and fresh. This kind of berry compote uh, works really well with it. And uh, the cake crust, which I didn't think I'd like because it looks super soft, uh, but it tastes good. And it's not too strong, not too sweet, not too thick. 
so it's very easy to eat and a lot lighter than I thought it'd be. And I think this was 25 ringgit, which is pretty expensive for this dessert. Uh, so maybe this one's not as worth it as the noodles, but if you're absolutely craving dessert, this is a pretty good compromise. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this up here. And again, uh, the noodles, super worth it, especially with the four prawns on there. There's also chicken and then squid and fish cake in there. So very worth the meal. And I am definitely full from that. So uh, definitely worth the value on that one. The cheesecake, not so much. 20 ringgit is a lot of money for this cheesecake, which is decent, but not great. But overall, the Marriott here scores really high on in-room dining because they uh, brought the food out really quick, less than 30 minutes. Uh, the service was great. Uh, the, guy, guy, the guy working over here, super nice. However, unfortunately, they were out of chocolate mousse. Um, cheesecakes, a good compromise, I guess. But the noodles were excellent. I mean, they were so good. Just some of the best noodles I've had here in Malaysia, so can't complain there. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here, and I'll catch you in the morning for breakfast, which I've heard really good things about, actually. Uh, so I can't wait to see that, and I'll see you then. Good morning, guys, and it was a pretty great sleep last night. Um, I personally like the hard bed, but you can definitely feel it. There's just like a tiny cushion that is on top of this uh, hard mattress, and you can definitely feel it once that cushion has kind of sunk in, just how hard the mattress is. But again, I'm a fan of it. I feel like most people wouldn't be, though. Anyways, we're about to go down, uh, check out what breakfast is like, because uh, I heard it was really good, so let's go. done with breakfast and uh, I gotta say it's one of the most comprehensive uh, breakfast uh, buffets I've ever seen in a hotel. You got everything you want here from Western to Malaysian classics like nasi lemak and roti chandai to even some dim sum options. So really a very extensive amount of food here and the buffet itself was huge. Uh, there was so much to pick from. I didn't even get to try everything because I already got full. And uh, not to mention the pastries, they had so many. And all of the ones that I had were really good. So very quality products too. It's not just for show. Like at some buffets where you get like very colorful things. Just to me it looked like it's full. But everything here tasted really good as well. And the uh, breakfast buffet here was actually 40 ringgit. So completely worth it in my opinion. That's how much my dinner cost last night except this is all you can eat and you had so many different options. All right guys, well I'm just gonna head back to the room and we're just gonna kind of relax here at the hotel, maybe go to the mall today. Uh, not sure yet, it's my last day before we head out tomorrow. So I just wanted to kind of sit back and do nothing. Alrighty guys, so I've just been hanging out in my room for the last uh, few hours and I figured we could actually just go to the mall and grab some dinner. And I figured I could do a quick montage of what the mall is like and show you guys if it's even worth going to. I know there's some great restaurants there and it's uh, pretty new and it's also one of the biggest attractions around here because like I was saying, this is more of a resort style area. There's a lot of resorts around here. Uh, and this mall is kind of like the central area of that. So let's go check out that mall. Alrighty guys, so here we are. And uh, like I said, I'm just gonna do a quick montage because I doubt you wanna see me walk around this giant mall for 45 minutes. So it just makes it easier on everyone, I think. Uh, there are tons of restaurants here and it's one of the main attractions i think also it's only a 30 second drive from the hotel so you could definitely walk here too i think it's like half a mile uh, but yeah here is the montage
Well guys, that is the ILI Mall, and as you can tell, it is ginormous. There are tons of restaurants around here, and it's connected to the La Meridian. So pretty convenient if you're staying at that hotel. Anyways, right now, we're gonna head back to the hotel, and we gotta pack and get ready for the airport tomorrow. So I will see you guys back there. Well guys, back in the hotel, and they actually brought the laundry, but they brought someone else's laundry. So um, that happened a couple hours ago, and they haven't brought the laundry back yet. So we'll see. Um, when they bring it. I am leaving tomorrow, so they, uh, they've they got to bring it fast. And also I asked for late checkout tomorrow because my flight is at 11.30 at night. So there's uh, nowhere for me to go until then. Uh, they said they could give me till one uh, or I could pay for kind of like half the day until my flight. Uh, and I'm not willing to do that. I might just get the latest checkout possible, which might be around two is uh, what I'm hoping for. And then we could just hang out in the lobby or go to the mall. Yeah, so I'm just waiting on the laundry right now. And then I'm gonna go to sleep and then we'll do a full recap of how this hotel has been tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then, good night. Good morning guys. And uh, unfortunately it is our last day here in Kuala Lumpur and our last day here at the hotel. So we got to check out. And luckily they gave us a late checkout till 3 p.m. which is very generous of them because checkout is at 12. So an extra three hours. Uh, definitely appreciate that and glad they were able to shave off some time between uh, now and the flight because the flight's at 11.30 so I got nowhere to go. I also got my laundry back this morning actually just like a couple minutes ago uh, which was kind of a process. I had to call them like three times to do that uh, and they finally sent up the right laundry. Like I was saying last night they sent up someone else's laundry and then uh, I guess the laundry place closed so they never sent up my laundry. Laundry doesn't smell good. It uh, kind of smells burnt, but it is washed. Uh, it doesn't smell like sweat or anything, which is, I guess, all that matters. And let's go ahead and uh, start with uh, how this stay has been at the Marriott Putrajaya. So this hotel is obviously 20 years old, which is really old for a hotel, I feel. And uh, you can kind of tell by some of the fixtures and the decor around here, uh, especially in the hotel, there's kind of paneling on the floors and stuff that's coming out but I do know that they are renovating this place and even though it's that old it still looks gorgeous when you first enter I mean it's when you get kind of a magnifying glass out and start looking around that's when you kind of see the kind of imperfections but uh, but you can definitely live through it I mean it, it's it's not like anything crazy that gets in the way of anything you just kind of notice it or maybe I just notice it because I don't know I got like an eye for it I guess but other than that it's pretty good uh, there's a lot of amenities here and I feel like they've done a renovation uh, probably a few years back as well so there's stuff like USB in the walls uh, flat screen TV stuff like that so it's definitely been renovated before I'm glad they're renovating it again because it definitely needs it next we can talk about the food which has been absolutely excellent uh, from the breakfast to the room service it was all done pretty well uh, the breakfast especially is totally worth it for uh, 40 ringgit uh, it was a breakfast buffet with tons of options from nasi lemak to roti chanai to uh, western you know eggs and chinese dim sum and then for dinner i got the room service which was the noodles which was really good honestly blew my expectations right out the water I was not expecting it to be that good uh, that was also 40 ringgit and then I also got a cheesecake which was not as good which was 20 ringgit and that was not worth it but uh, overall the food here is excellent and I wish I could have stayed for a dinner buffet which is served only Fridays and Saturdays because uh, I've heard really good things about it, seen some really great reviews, but unfortunately we're here on a weekday. Next up we can kind of talk about the amenities and what you can do around here. So uh, they got a giant resort style pool and like I was saying this is a more resort style hotel. It's one where you just come and uh, kind of relax and lounge around, spend the day, maybe great for staycations for people in Kuala Lumpur as well to get away from the city and the hustle and bustle and all that noise because it is very relaxing around here. As you can see, there's a lot of greenery. However, it's not too far away from civilization. There's a giant mall right here, the IOI Mall, uh, within walking distance. And there's also a free shuttle that takes you from and to uh, the mall. And that runs every hour from, I think, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So that's really good and very easy to get around. They've also got a ton of uh, activities for kids downstairs. There's like a play place for them and also a bunch of sports like table tennis, basketball, uh, badminton, stuff like that downstairs as well. 
to enjoy. I've also noticed a lot of kind of posters and signs up for Christmas and New Year's events. So uh, it looks like they've got a lot of events going on later this year as well, which is really cool. I wish I could be here. Uh, they look amazing. And I know they had like a Christmas menu tasting downstairs uh, yesterday, I guess, for Marriott employees. Um, and I saw a couple pictures from that and that looked really good as well. So I'm gonna do a little kind of points table for the hotels I stay in so that you can kind of get an idea of where I rank it. And so let's get into that. And for cleanliness, I'd probably give this hotel a seven. There are some stains on the wall and stuff. And then also a little bit of dust when I did a little dust check, uh, but nothing crazy. Uh, and they are in the middle of renovating. So most of these little touches and uh, stains and stuff will go away whenever they're done renovating. I have no doubt about that. So for friendliness of staff, I'd probably give it a nine. Uh, they are very welcoming, very warm employees here. Uh, very nice to you, they say hi. No one really went above and beyond, which is why I'm reserving the 10 for something crazy like that. For comfort of the room, I'd probably give it an eight. Uh, the bed was excellent for me. I feel like for most people though, it would be pretty hard, that mattress. Uh, which is why I kind of pegged it down a little bit. Uh, the sheets are super soft. The bathroom is very clean, easy to use, very spacious. And overall, you know, the room has a lot of space for you to move around in. For overall layout of the room in the hotel, I'd give it an eight. Uh, there's tons of space in the room, like I was saying. Uh, the layout of the lobby and then having six elevators is really great. You rarely have to wait for an elevator. Uh, there's also a lot of plug points, a lot of USB points. The light switches are easy to kind of figure out and um, you don't have to kind of run around trying to figure out how to turn off lights in your room. But like I was saying, the hotel is pretty old so the decor is a little lacking. It's very brown, very old. Uh, and this is the kind of feel that Marriott goes for, the Marriott brand hotel. Uh, but it can be updated a little bit. I think a little bit of color in the rooms wouldn't hurt anyone. It, it's very brown, very cream. Um, and kind of dull, but they are renovating. So I'm sure they're gonna kind of redesign all the rooms and stuff. And now lastly, value. Uh, for value, I'd probably give this a 10 out of 10. Uh, it's one of the best deals you can get here in Malaysia. And I know it's 30 minutes away from the city, but it's a great escape if you want a staycation or if you want to get away from that hustle and bustle like I was saying. And in my opinion, it's not that far away from Kuala Lumpur, you can still go explore it. But uh, for me, it was a great kind of transitioning hotel from being in the city and then coming out here, spending a couple days before I leave the country. It was great to relax and kind of wind down. And that really is what this hotel is about. And actually all these hotels basically in this area, because they're all resort style hotels, except maybe the Le Meridian that's uh, right, that's connected to the mall. So that one's not a resort style, but the rest of the hotels around this area our resort styles and this is called the IOI Resort City or something like that. So it's going to be a pretty built up resort city and I see that they have a tons of other projects still going on around here, uh, kind of building this area up. There's like a sports complex and uh, more apartment buildings coming up. So it's going to look completely different in a few years I feel, but a very good place to just get away from uh, Kuala Lumpur. And now let's get into the price, uh, which is the most ridiculous uh, fact about this whole thing and the reason I picked this hotel or to stay here. So it was 9,000 points for two nights, which is a ridiculously low amount of points if you know the point system. And that equates to about $60 a night. So $60 a night for a Marriott hotel uh, with the Marriott branding, not a Fairfield or Four Points, anything like that, is a ridiculous price, especially a resort style hotel like this with a room this big and this spacious. You're probably not gonna find many other hotels around the world that you can get for this cheap. And I think the reason for that is because they are renovating it and kind of doing some upkeep around here. There's some construction going on. All the facilities are still open and free to use, but uh, uh, yeah, I think that's the reason because they're kind of renovating it. And if I was you, I'd probably go ahead and take advantage of these low prices here. Uh, I don't think you'll get prices like these ever again at this hotel because it's already nice and they're probably making it nicer. And like I've been saying, it's a great place for Malaysian residents to come have a staycation and kind of relax and uh, get away from the city a bit or get away from home uh, for a couple of days. It's not too far from the city as well, 30 minute drive, just far enough, perfect distance. And even for people who are visiting Kuala Lumpur, I think it's a great kind of place to spend a night or two before you head to the airport. It is more down south, so I think it's closer to the airport, I'm not sure, but um, 
it's just nice to relax before you kind of end your vacation. And it's also just great for families. Uh, if you have little kids, you know, there's tons to do. I mean, the pool is massive. The mall is great. There's kids areas in this hotel. That's, uh, there's like a daycare system so you can get away from the kids as well. And it's also just great for kids. The pool is massive. There's a water slide. Uh, it's really cool. I mean, if I was a kid and even now as an adult, I think that that's one of the coolest pools I've seen. And I definitely would stay at this hotel again the next time I'm in Kuala Lumpur. Um, it might be a little pricier then, but I think it's still going to be pretty worth it, especially for this resort style hotel. The food is excellent, uh, the staff is friendly, and the hotel is beautiful. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's also right next to a mall with a giant food court. While there isn't a lot like street vendors and kind of your traditional Malaysian uh, culture around here, I think it's still a great place to uh, come spend the night. Well guys, that's going to be the end of the video. And down in the descriptions, I will have all the information about this hotel, the mall, and then also a couple other attractions around here. There's like a pink mosque and stuff like that that is really cool and you should check out. And I know this is a completely different video to what I've been doing, but uh, hotels are something that I really like. Um, and I like staying at hotels and I like kind of reviewing them and nitpicking stuff at hotels to see which ones are the best. So um, it's something that I enjoy doing hotel reviews and just kind of looking around hotels and exploring them, uh, which is why I wanted to try this uh, new concept of video. So if you liked it, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you know when I post next. And until then, have a great day.